Should you want to adjust the camera views in Test Drive 6 PC, you can. And I'm going to make an app that probably will include a section on this so that you don't have to manually do this yourself. And for those who don't know how to and are afraid to perhaps use a hex editor to modify the EXE to make this possible, they can just use the app to do this. But this is for those that want to just experiment with it and see what they like and perhaps if they want me to make whatever they like as one of the options to select from the drop down that I will have in the app, then um, by all means, just let me know what you like. I'm gonna be using this hex editor, so just go here and download the 188 kilobyte version. This is a portable version, it does not have to be installed. And as you can see, it's really small. And for the most part, it's it's okay to use it. It has an undo, but not a redo feature. And when it un when you press the undo, it might undo more than one action. So it's not user friendly in that way. And you can't really zoom in on it to see it because everything is really small. So those are the only two things I don't like about it. But anyway, once you open it up, be sure, of course, to make a copy of the EXC before you modify it. This is a copy of the default EXC. All right. Click on the 5669. This will bring it to the view that I usually show it so far in my videos. I'm going to click here and say search. No matter if you have the portable European version, US version, or the remastered, you're going to search for police LT. Make sure that you first click in here on the right side and then click it. Otherwise, you're going to have to uncheck hexadecimal and then search. There are five camera views. If you just press the camera key on the keyboard, whatever you have it set to to change cameras, you can count there are five of them. This is where four of them are. The fifth one is actually here. These symbols here are adjustments to the camera angles. Even though that this one doesn't really have any, this is actually the first person view camera angle. I made this diagram here, which should be understandable after I explain it. I'll go left to right in the image here. With the two black columns, I need to make sure that they're all null null, or zero zero in this case. Four of them are, but the fifth one, the first person view is not. In order for me to adjust the first person view camera, I'm gonna copy this, and when you wanna copy a null, this is gonna happen. But it has to be null, and so do all of these other first two characters on the line. They all have to be null, null. Otherwise, the adjustments that you make will not, you can make them, but they will not show up in the game should they not both be null. And right now, just to show you real quick, I'm gonna open up the game. All right, I'm gonna have it rendered to a window. Okay, these are the th default third person views. This is the first person view that I somehow changed now, but I didn't really change it. I just enabled what we typed here to show up in the game for first person view that's what happened but by default if i would just change this back to one i have to close the game before i make changes you're gonna have to do that every time this is default first person view right so if you don't drive in first person and you want to have a fifth third person view option then you can get rid of it by using this process that i'm about to show you but just as a quick illustration what i'm what i mentioned here Let's take a look at that, what that means real quick. Starting with first person view, if we press the key once to shift the camera view, that's this one. This line right here is the code for that camera view. Then if we shift the camera again, this is the code for that one and so forth. It goes in order. But just use the code for the first camera view as a frame of reference to start from and then it goes in this cycle. At first I didn't think it was in order, but it turned out to be. So in short, we change this 0, 01 to a 00, zero which is a null, so that we can make changes to the first person view. And that's what I'm going to be doing as an illustration. I'm going to leave the other third person views alone, and we're just going to adjust the first person view and make it into a third person view camera. Okay, so the black columns are taken care of. I'm not going to touch on these in order. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to the orange one. And the orange one is the second column here. Let me increase that. And for those who don't know what increasing means in this, this is a table with two columns. The left column is 0 through 255. Those are just the number of possible adjustments you can make. Some of them may never even work. It, there might be a certain boundary where you can't tell the difference after a certain point and so forth. But okay, there's 256. The right column is the corresponding hex code. For example, let's say that we started with 09 in here somewhere. 
and we wanted to increase it just by one. We wouldn't say 10 because that's increasing it by more than one, right? We'd have to go with 0a instead, so that's what I mean. Let me increase it to 13. This is an example. Now you can see that we're farther away from the car. As it says in the diagram, that's exactly what it does. You can drive like this at the same level and everything. That's all we changed was just the distance from the car. Now let's suppose that I don't change it that much. Let me just change it by one because we know default, you can't even really see anything. And, and let me just make it because still one would be too close to the car. Let me make it like five, like the rest of them are for the third person view, the same distance. Okay, so that looks just like a third person view. Even though this was first person at the start, now it looks like a third person view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this and I'm going to label this minor zero zero, just bear with me, major zero five. This is what I define as the major, it's the orange, the minor is the purple, the one before it. That says that it's about half an adjustment of that one. So what does that mean? If, for example, I now increase this to 6, let's observe that. I'm take a screenshot of this, and I'm going to label this one minor 0, 0, and major 0, 6. And we can compare them now, right? It's easy to see that 0, 6 is further away from the car than 0, 5. Okay, great. What I'm going to do now, I just undid 0, 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this as I mentioned here, that if the minor is FF, then it's going to be about half an adjustment. Right now it's zero, zero, or null. So this is sort of like making this six and keeping this as null, or zero, zero, but it's going to not be quite as far. Okay, so it's hard to tell. But I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and label it minor FF, because we now would change the minor. Major is zero, five. And I just made this diagram, but it looks like the purple is not half an adjustment as the orange. It looks like when we increase the minor to FF, it's going to be further away from the car than if we were to increment the major by one. With the minor being the maximum hex value, you're really not going to get that far away from the car. So it is like the other ones that I mentioned here that it's half, you know, the green, the purple, and the light blue. They're all to fine tune the other ones. So this one fine tunes this one, this one fine tunes this one, and this one fine tunes this one. So I'll just, I won't even mention them anymore at this point. I'll just show the other ones, but I'll still go through it. But this green one here, I think really does live up to the description that I mentioned, that it's about half the adjustment of this one. All right, so anyway, I'm just going to make that zero. Let me go back now to the red and take care of that one and therefore the one that fine tunes it. So vertically above the ground, this is one that I originally adjusted to, to prove which camera view was first person. We can increase this to maybe zero C. It's closer to the car than that first adjustment was, but anyway, we can keep that one. And now let's look at the yellow one that tilts it backwards to the sky. That's important. It doesn't tilt forwards. All right, let's increase this by five. You can see now that we're not looking straight down anymore. And to make this useful, it looks like, it looks like we're gonna have to increase it even more if we wanna make a useful third person view. How about I increase it to zero A? That's one above nine. Kind of strange because we don't see the car anymore. Let me increase the distance between the car and the camera some. That would be the orange column. That would be this one. I can increase it maybe to zero A as well and let's see what happens. Still not enough. Increase it to 17. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually see the car. Putting all these ideas together, one cool thing you could do is if you have a car that doesn't have a roof and you want to drive and you want to see inside the car, let me change it to the car that I know has it in the remastered version, like the Jaguar. Right now, I have everything at zero, so what happened was because I left everything at zero in the first person view, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I, this was originally zero one, but I made it zero zero so it registers changes. But if you live it all zero, this is going to happen. You're going to, <laughs> you're going to disconnect the camera from the car completely and it's going to stay stuck here at the start line. But if you're doing a circuit track and you, and you just follow the circle here, the radar, and race that way without even seeing anything except for the radar, you'll 
the car will reappear here at the start line. And so, I don't know, that's maybe a way to race. What I'd like to do is to demonstrate, let's take a look at the red one again. We can increase that just by a little bit for the major. So if we increase it just to one, as we saw earlier in the video. Now we can see the seats in the car. Let's now tilt it towards the sky by using the yellow. That will be maybe, let's tilt it five. That's a little bit too much tilting way up. The other time that I, I tilted up by incrementing by 5, it didn't tilt up that much. So the, the other parameters that you can change here will affect the other parameters that you change here. It can get complicated. You'll have to experiment. It's not all this straightforward, but these are the adjustments. This is a description for the adjustments. So this could be like an alternate first person view where you see the hood of the car but I want to see the seat, so I need to back up from the car. To do that, I need to, of course, maybe adjust the orange or the purple. Make the purple, which is the minor FF, if adjusting the orange is too much. I think, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I had that mixed up, and, and um, increasing the orange by one is actually less than making the purple, which is the minor FF. The orange is here. Let me increase it by one and let's see what happens. So we can go a little bit towards the back of the car to maybe see the seats. Okay, we can see inside the car now. It's like we're driving in it. Yeah, I don't know why this was never made like a per first person view. You're basically driving with the person in the car. It's pretty neat, I guess. But th since the detail of the interior is not that great, it's, um, it's not really ideal I guess but it's it's reasonable and we can maybe tilt down a little bit but this might be good enough for someone who wants to just play with it just making all of these one and this one starting at zero zero for the first person view especially for those people who don't drive first person they can just mess with this one we want to tilt down though we're going to increase the yellow and we have to decrease the yellow to tilt down because we tilted up with it and now we can see the seats but now we can't see the road so I'm going to increase that back to one just as an experiment I can increase the minor to FF and let's see what it looks like this actually looks good it's not bad alright so that's pretty much the end of this tutorial with the camera one last thing and I probably will make that an option that you can see inside the car in my app but one last thing is just there's a few lines of code above this that you have the minor which is the is the red rectangle here and then the major is the highlighted or blue character as you can see here I have the hex codes with the corresponding result so I can run through them real quick so this is the first dot looking character after police LT I increase it to zero zero and the car is going to be upside down it's not that bad to race in certain tracks upside down at least Huh. Yeah, kind of strange. Let's take a look at 04. I'm being dyslexic, I guess. The track is on the right side with 04. So it should be on the left side with 0C. Ha ha. And it is. So I was being dyslexic. And anything in between them, for example, if I didn't increase it to 0C, but uh, just two less, like 0A, then it would be at an angle. I think this would be useful for someone who is tired and they, they're racing with a, like a laptop sideways on the couch and they want to see the car straight even though the laptop is tilted. This is a way to just to have a separate EXE for each angle that you would be going so you can say uh, 45 degrees to the left or 45 degrees to the right for example or it would be a little bit less if you only increased it or decreased it by one instead of two, like I did. This looks like a solid 45 degrees. So I guess 22 and a half degrees, 67 and a half, you increase it past the 45. All right, so that's about it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.